Hey boys and girls, welcome back to SandTube 3D. Like always, I'm VJ. Today we're going to be talking about how to download Kira 4.3. So let's jump right into it. First thing we want to do is somehow get to Google, regardless if you're using Windows or PC. And here you're just going to type in Kira Download. And you don't have to type in the version. So if you notice, the very first link that pops up if you just click on it right there you'll see the version already here so the most current version is Kira 4.3 now if you want previous versions you can click on that uh, right down there and it'll bring you all the previous versions that you have here but why would you want a previous version because they're only updating adding new features anyways so you want to click on download for free and once you do that it's going to prompt you to select either Windows, Mac or Linux um, I use a Mac, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You go and click on download. And if you notice, it's that easy. Right up here, it's in the download process. So once we have everything done, it's going to take a little bit longer on the very first try to open, guys, because it's initially setting up everything for you here. So just give it some time, and once it opens up, We'll go over the basics. All right, so once Kira is open, the first thing you're going to be prompted with is what's new in Kira. So this is just going to give you a quick rundown of everything that it has, but I'm going to go ahead and go over the features with you and show you how they actually work or why you would use them and why some of them are not important at all. So there you go. Let's go into that. The so very first thing you want to do, of course, is go and add a printer. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is on the top left, you'll see Ultramaker Kira. You click on that, and then you'll come down to Preferences. From there, you're going to click on Printers. And then from here, you're going to click on Add. Now, before, this is something new actually here, guys. Before, they used to um, not have Add a Network Printer, um, but you can actually do that. You can add Printer by IP address all of that but today we're just going to be doing the basic and just adding it so we're going to add a non-network printer so you're going to click on that and you're going to pick your brand okay and of course Ultimaker always comes up first because it's their software now if you don't have that you're going to scroll down uh, here's a list of all the printers that they have um, something just stood out alpha wise this wasn't on here before um, so they actually have that on here now which is kind of cool because I know a lot of people have that printer um, and then of course you got Creality 3D and that's what most of us out there have so you click on that and you're gonna be prompted with all the models that they have in here that they have profiles for that you can set up so you have Creality CR10, the Mini S, blah 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 all the way to enters down here so I'm just gonna set up my Creality CR10 once I do that uh, you can change your printer name if you want but I don't see why you would we can just do CR10, you can do Creality, whatever, it's up to you. Click on Add, and once you do that, it will automatically add the printer for you. Now again, because it's the very first time you're doing it, it might take a little bit, it might not. So, Machine Settings. I uh, just prompted it, and it got out of it, so let's go back to that screen. So this screen is what popped up. So here, you'll notice most of it is filled out for you already. Your X, Y, Z... Uh, heated bed is checked off. Please, 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 guys, do not click here. Origin at center. What that's going to do is most of you think that, well, that's going to center everything. No, it's not. The center for Creality machines are in the top front right, sorry, top front left corner. So don't ever check this off, okay? Just in case if you're tempted, do not check that off. So you got your start uh, G code, your NG code, everything is right there. Um, so everything's already filled out for you. You go and hit close, and there's your printer right there. Close it off. You've got your CR10. Now, of course, you're given the standard profiles that Ultimaker comes with, but let's say you have a profile that you would like to use, or if you have one of my profiles that you download that you want to import. Well, that's very easy. There's two ways you can do this. You can actually click right here at Profile, and then go down to Manage Profiles, and it will bring you to the same screen that we just added the printer on or if you don't want to do it that way you can again click on Ultimaker Kira go to preferences 
and then you have your printers and profiles right here so we're going to click on profile it's super simple click on import and you're going to pick your profile so i'm just going to pick let's say the 0.1 millimeter and hit open successfully imported hit ok now just a quick side note on the Kira 4.2 I know there was a lot of issues about importing profiles it kept giving people error messages so this is the one of the cool things that uh, 4.3 fixed so if you have an older profile that you want to use uh, it's a lot easier to import actually so you, again click on import select your file and it'll automatically bring, you, bring it up so how do you implement that in the settings you just go and click on it right here where it says standard quality 0.2 or whatever it is right here you're going to click on profile and if you'll notice there it is one number two because it's my second one that I am uploading just for this video so once you click on that a few things changed here and let me just make sure that this is just all the standard default uh, settings that I have 4.1 uh, and I tweak every print guys no one no two prints do I use the same profile there's always something that I change based on what the model needs so there you go import a profile add a printer now I'm gonna go over a few things that's gonna make your life a lot easier so let's say if you're getting into 3d printing for sales or if you want to sell something and you want to know what your cost is because that's very important or if you just want to keep track of what your spools are running you and what the prints are and you just want to know what your overhead is uh, regardless business or personal related you click on material here okay now some of these will already be filled out for you um, but say for example ABS okay so and this applies to all of these right here you can do custom material um, like PLA right down here ABS whatever you want so you know what let's do PLA since most people use PLA so basically it's asking you what is the filament cost and it's in USDA uh, you can change it to euros if you want uh, you can just delete actually since I picked US the new 4.3 automatically does it to USD so I guess if you pick Australia or whatever country it'll do it in your currency that is kinda cool so USDA. So how much do I pay for my filament? Um, normally I pay about, I would say $14. Um, I use Ziltec most of the time, so $14. And how much, how many grams comes in that weight-wise? Um, every standard filament, guys, comes with 1,000 grams. Okay, so I don't know why they do it in grams, but you can do 1,000 grams right here. So anytime you do a print now, it should tell you basically what it is so let's go and check to make sure that this is actually working correctly so what we're gonna do is click on the folder here you know click uh, click on the folder pick your STL file go and import it in that's what I'm gonna import now nothing will show here right now okay you gotta hit slice so there you go here it tells you what the time is gonna be as far as the print uh, it tells you right here how much you're going to use and tells you right there how much it's going to cost you to print it. 11 cents to print this pretty Goku figurine head. Kind of small, but 11 cents can't go wrong. Now let's say this doesn't come up and it's still zeros. The reason for that is if you notice right here, I'm under generic PLA. And you can actually change that to custom PLA which we did and let's slice that again so the generic PLA was already in there as we saw earlier now this is what I entered so this is gonna cost me 12 cents for some reason so there you go that's how you figure it out now before we end this video guys I want to take a uh, time out to thank all the people that supported the channel uh, your support is what keeps the channel going, so thank you so much. For those of you that want to actually support the channel, there's some links down below. For those of you that have questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave it down below, guys. I will get back to every single one of you guys as soon as possible, time permitting. And with that said, guys, liked it, thumbs up, didn't like it, give it a down. It is what it is. And just like always, ladies and gentlemen, Good luck and happy printing.